Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, um, I'm actually going to be doing something very crazy. I look like crap because I just got back from the gym, so don't mind me. Well, it's not really crazy, but I feel like if an esthetician watches this video, they're going to be like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you doing this? What is your problem? But I am going to be dermablading or dermaplaning, derma whatever it's called, my face. Actually, I've gotten it done before. Um, I used to have a friend that would do it for me for free and then started getting to the point where like I wanted to do it but people were charging like $80, $40, $60 every session and I was just kind of like, you know, kind of like you gotta be on a budget. So I got inspired and started looking up like YouTube videos and stuff. Actually found this guy that um, shaves girls faces he actually uses like barber products like to shave the face so it's pretty much like he calls it shaving girls faces he doesn't call it dermaplating or dermaplating whatever pretty much bought all the product he has on there besides one thing that he has on the um video i am going to try it out today to see if I can do it. I'm a little nervous because I'm scared that I'm gonna like screw up and like ruin my face. Cause I don't really have bad skin, but you know, doing something like this I feel can like trigger you to have like bad skin. So I'm hoping that I don't do that and I'm hoping that it's a good outcome and I'm hoping that I do a good job so that way I don't have to spend money to do this. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and remove my makeup um, because I did get off of work then go to the gym so I do put on like foundation and stuff for work so I don't look too crazy. I'm going to take a quick body shower because you know I just got back from the gym. Um, a lot of people do ask me about my hair how I let it or how I pretty much keep it being very dark so I actually don't wash my hair every day. I wash it like every two days. I try to go like three days but I just pretty much rinse off my body at the end of the night because I feel like gross from work or if I get home from the gym. I also rinse my body in the morning because I'm that person. My friends will be like, well, you're so weird, you already showered at night, why are you showering in the morning? Like, I don't care, I wanna shower. And if I wanna shower a lot, I'm gonna shower a lot. So before I shower, I kinda wanna um, show you guys my skin like care. I honestly am horrible at taking care of my skin. Like. People are like, how do you have so like nice skin, but you like fall asleep in your makeup, you don't take care of your skin. I really don't, but it's not like I'm like horrible. I still like wash my face and stuff like that. To remove my makeup, I use the Garnier Skin Active um, cleanser water. So this is actually so good. I was actually recommended this by my old lash lady, Sabrina. I use everything Cetaphil like I use this product so much I use their moisturizer I use their face wash um, because I love it so much and this is honestly my skin's very dry and ever since I've been wearing like washing my face with this or using their lotion or their moisturizer my skin has gotten so much like not like oily but just more like moisture and I've honestly like fell in love with it I'm gonna go remove my makeup wash my face um this is the face cleanser i'm going to be using for after i like dermablade blade my face so um the guy in the video does um use a different face wash but i'm going to use this one because it's like the best one for my face and then also i will be trying to link um his youtube video down below so you guys can kind of look at his thing to see if you guys get inspired as well to start like doing your own face because i feel like it's something that you can kind of like do on your own you just have to be careful and i feel you use the right product like i said any esthetician that's watching this don't come at me i'm just if I fuck up my face, I fuck up my face, okay? Yeah, so I'll be going through all the products with you guys, so I'll be back. Hey guys, so I am back. I am comfortable. Put my little ears on to hold my hair back. We are going to start with the first step. So the first step in the video is he grabs like a cotton ball or like, you know, just... Yeah, it looks like a cotton ball. Um, and he actually puts alcohol in it. See, I don't really know how I feel about this. I'm just gonna listen to him because he looks like he knows what he's doing. I'm just gonna... Oh, it kind of burns my eyes. Ow! Ow! 
the fuck? Okay. This is, I guess, to make sure you get all the dirt out. Um, I'm not too sure if I got a very strong alcohol. I'm guessing I did. <laughs> kind of gets all the dirt out. So I supposedly took all my makeup off and look. Can you guys see it? Why doesn't that zoom in? Damn, but I get like, get fazated right now. So now, I'm going to grab my handy dandy Nano, is it Nano, Nano? I'm just butchering every name right now. It's called the Nano Steamer Mister. So I actually bought this off of Amazon. Um, I got all the product off of Amazon. I'll show you guys real quick what it is. Okay, so it looks like this. So it's called uh, the Nano Steamer. Um, I ordered it on um, Amazon. Uh, it's not that expensive actually. I want to say it was like $12. But you pretty much just open it and it lets out like a steam. So you just kind of... He says use warm water, which I did. I literally used like boiling hot water and it's coming out cold. So he says this kind of opens up the pores. Next, a shave oil. So the product that he uses is um, Easy Blade. So this is actually, so let me show right there, Easy Blade. So this is actually for like barbers, but he uses this on women to shave their face. Oh my God. He puts it on so smoothly and then there's me. Puts it all around the face. This actually smells really good. Oh my god. I'm gonna get paper towels. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, hold up. So the next product he uses is like a hot face massager. That's the one thing I don't have. So some of them are kind of expensive, but I am gonna invest in it because I heard it's very good for your skin. Um, but I'm not gonna do that today because I don't have one. We're gonna skip that one. So next, he uses the Easy Blade Shave Gel. So this is what you're going to use to start shaving the face. It is this one. Ugh. Easy Blade Shave Gel. So I'm going to be putting all the product in the description below. Or if I can link his video down, then you guys can just follow his video and get all the product there. I said I bought all of this on Amazon and it's actually... Not that expensive. I want to say I spent like $70 on it. Which I honestly thought it would be way more. But this guy really inspired me. So I was like, wow, I'm going to try it. So yeah, so you just grab the gel. Put it all over the skin. So I'm just going to put however much I feel like putting. I feel like it goes for everyone. Like you could just kind of put however much you want on your face because it's your face. Okay, next step is the scary part, the actual shaving. So, so you just start shaving the face. I'm actually gonna start on this side so you guys can see. So it looks like he's like holding it like back. I'm not too sure if I'm doing this right. Yes. Can you see? That's hair. Ew. Okay, I'm gonna add more gel. So I'm probably gonna start with like one side and then put more gel as I go because when you like put it all like at once, it kind of like your face like dries up. Kind of just hold it how you desire, you know, like. seems like it's going good. I don't want to get my sideburns too much. Oh, I found, I found a way. It's because how I was holding it. Okay. 
Damn. I'm hairy. You have to like pull as you do it. Are you gonna give so many people anxiety with this video? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. <laughs> now we're gonna do the mustache. forgot to mention that he uses a blade like this but I also bought a blade like this to get like in between like the small areas okay so I finish with this side it feels really finish with this side it's actually really smooth I'm gonna do the other side real quick and then that will be the end of it but pretty much you just kind of have to hold your hand your face like this and then just kind of you know work your way down that is so nasty okay so I'm just gonna go in with the little one to in those like hard spots so now he goes back in with alcohol probably gonna burn but this is what he's doing so So the last thing he uses is this Easy Blade aftershave spray. So you, he just sprays it all over the face. And this is so you don't get like any razor bumps, I believe, and just stuff like that. It goes back in with this mister just to kind of relief like your face from pretty much you like shaving it last step is he uses this moisturizer which is called organic moisturizer so it has like a low a low babe how do you say it? aloe vera aloe vera aloe vera and Manuka honey, so it's this brand right here, which I'll be putting everything on the description box And this helps like moisturize what you just did so that way your skin's not like irritated and it's like very thick Okay, so that was the final step for pretty much dermablading your face or shaving your face. We'll be putting all the products I use in the description down below. I got everything off of Amazon. Like, comment down below if you guys do give it a try. It honestly made my skin feel so smooth. Like, it doesn't hurt. The only time it did hurt was, like, when I was putting the alcohol on my face. But it actually just made my feel... My feel? <laughs> it made my face feel like more smooth and clear um and it's honestly not that hard i guess you just have to like learn the angle of like how you hold the blade but yeah this concludes today's video thanks for watching
Yo sé que tú 